I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear, and we're going to show you here in real time harvesting pineapple guavas. Don't know if some people are going to like it or not like it, but I'm going to start off with something I talked about in one of our lives, which is somewhere other than my house, um, pineapple guavas being grown as a hedge. So people do this in for different companies, um, I think because it is an evergreen shrub. Uh, it's either a shrub or a tree, but we'll show you that and then uh, bring you to the house and show you the nighttime harvest of pineapple guavas. All right, here we go. So there is the bush I was talking about. Those are pineapple guavas. People do this in their landscaping and then the fruits are down there. So these can be pretty huge. That one's huge. I'm gonna have to wash that off and try it. That's bigger than the ones you see in the store. Much, when you see them in the store. Much bigger. A little dirty. It's okay. Oh, they're they're hard. Underripe. They fell. They're not underripe. They're just hard, huh? Yeah. I wonder if they have a thicker skin. Much thicker. Using your carpet knife. Yep. For comparison, here's some that were harvested at the house. Different varieties get different sizes and do and taste differently. I don't remember if these ones are good. I think they were. You try it. Okay, I'm trying it first. I like the flavor of ours better. Yeah. What's your opinion? Not tasted yet. Yeah, they taste very mild. But hey, it's free fruit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is good, but yours has a better taste to it. Yeah, pineapple lava. Mm -hmm. So show how thick that is. So this outer part, this outer part right here, is very thin on oh. mine. It's very thick on these ones. Bench I don't here. remember. I don't remember it being like that last time. Uh -huh. Oh, anyway, pineapple guavas for free because it will just rot. We've seen it. So here's one of the smaller ones we picked up. Cut in half. A lot of the rest of this video is a little shaky, so if you get motion sickness or have issues with that, I would just listen to it and not watch it. It's picking up pineapple guavas. This is back home. This is from my tree. And yes, this is a street and the gutter. But sometimes yummy stuff grows. And we're gonna need a basket. <laughs> I think the wind we had and the rain we had knocked off a bunch of them. Look at that. Even these little ones, they taste the same as the big ones. So, like, there's no need to not pick them up. Let's go Easter egg hunting. I was going to have this as a little thing in my weekend review, but it just might end up being a whole video. Look at this. If you like going Easter egg hunting, 
this is the plant for you. Look at all these. We do need a basket though. Oh my goodness, do we need a basket? So I have my irises here. I love bearded irises, it's my favorite flower. These ones are all purple. Um, but they do offer a soft landing for these fruits, which honestly was not planned, but I would definitely do it again. All right, more here. Look at this huge pile already. Look at that. So, <clears throat> these fruits are ready when they fall on the ground. If you pick them, and have to pull, they're not ripe yet. Sometimes you can like touch them and they'll fall off in your hand. That's the tree giving you it. But look how many there are so far. They're out in the street, they're out on the sidewalk. They were in the gutter. I hear little kitty, hi kitty. Hi sweetie. Yeah, we're, we're picking pineapple guavas off the ground. He always runs over to greet us. So, it is a little Easter egg hunt every time. And they said the little ones are worth picking up because they taste the same as the big ones. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Do you have a basket? Can you get a basket? So I guess, watch before you step, right? Look at all this. You have a basket? Manuel? Can you bring a basket? Azure standard box here. If I find any more over here, I might have gotten all of them. Of course, you always think you got all of them, and then you don't. Look at this funky one. So, if you like Easter egg hunts, this is the plant for you. Look at that tiny one. You don't need to keep that one. You can, though, if you want. Oh, look at these. Big one. 
Oh, there's a baby snail. We're gonna leave that here. So something that always happens with this tree is specifically because it has so many branches in it, um, it actually gets a lot of fruit down in the center. So I have to check there. Is getting into the tree here. And looks like there's a few in there. And yes, you keep on finding them. Yeah, I'm just collecting fruit. <laughs> the ones that you don't like. Oh. All right. Neighbor was concerned we were needing help, so he came over to ask if we need help. Good to have good neighbors. He actually has one of these trees and doesn't like the fruit, so I should go over and pick some of his. All right. I think I got what I can get from this side of the tree. Maybe. Let me go get the other side. Ouch. Ouch. All right, we're on the other side of the tree now. Seeing all we get. So here's another tip. This is not one of the approved street trees for my town. However, when I took out my old trees, which were liquid ambers, which are terrible trees that are no longer on the list. Nice big one. Um, I asked the city tree person if I could plant something that had fruit because, and, uh, uh, because I was doing edible landscaping. And I didn't want to do the flowering plum because that actually does make quite a mess. That was the only fruit tree on the proof list. So. Yeah? Um, I forgot where it was. They were talking again. <laughs> this is good. Oh, street trees. So this actually is a pretty good street tree. Um... You don't have to water it. Once we watered, once I started watering it, it did start to produce a lot better fruit, a lot more fruit, a lot bigger fruit. And so I do water it now that these lines are here. Um, put the line underneath the sidewalk. And uh, that was an adventure. And did that. But basically what he said, what the tree guy said was, well, let me know when you figure out what you're doing. And, uh, you know, you can request it and we'll prove it. And so I did and didn't hear back, didn't hear back, didn't hear back. And I left several messages saying, hey, if I don't hear back from you, I will, I'm just going to say yeah, that the yes and I can plan it. And didn't hear back from them. Haven't heard back from them for many years now. So I'm calling it approved. Um, this is a drought tolerant plant that does not bump up sidewalks its fruit is green when it is ripe so people don't steal your fruit and um it's pretty small so it's not going to be a shade tree that's the only thing if you're looking for a shade tree it's not going to be what it is but it's a good thing all right go to the other side of the tree this so far guys with that Plus all those before I got the box. Now this side usually fruits last, so I'm not expecting to find much in here. 
Although, Manuel did say that there was one on the sidewalk. But there's a couple. Pretty good size one. Now this will continue to fruit well into uh, December and likely into January. Which is nice because this is, gives winter fruit. I'm in zone 9B. And there you go. So, this is a harvesting video. It's a little close up. <laughs> But hey, that's how we roll right now. I'm using the flashlight of the, of the phone, and you guys get to see what I see. Did I miss any? Because I probably did. All right, if we missed any, we'll get it later. All right, that box is pretty much full. It's a small box, but... Let's see how many fit. Now, if you guys saw me miss something, put a comment in below. I'll find it later, or maybe I won't. our final little bit. There we go. That's... Huh. There we go. That's how high my hand is. Pretty good haul for one day of fallen fruit. Now this tree still has tons on it. You can see it all. You can shake this if you want and get more. Um, this tree, they're still growing. This one actually starts um, ripening later. I don't remember how much later. Maybe like a month though. And I have no idea. Hi kitty, what is that? What is that? All right, so that whole box there, that is pineapple that was from here. And then these ones are from the place we were just at. So you can see there is a size difference, but these ones from home definitely taste better. And then these other ones are bigger. I'm assuming they probably get more water than ours. And maybe not. And it could just be varietal. But I'm gonna open up a couple of these. I'm just gonna bite them. And yes, I know, I don't have the right lighting right now. So yes, we did pick this off the ground. I'm okay with it. I just kind of rub it off with my pants or shirt. And and then, all right, you can see the inside. They're sweet. They're a little tart. I guess the type of tart would be like how an apple is tart, but not like all the way tart. Um, and they're very good. They're so good, guys. So good. All right, grow pineapple guavas. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know the video was a little bit hectic. We'll see. We'll see if people like the uh, harvest in, in real time with a flashlight. <laughs> At night, because honestly, working full time, that's when stuff get done sometime is at the nighttime when it's dark. And that's the opportunity to get things done. So, 
Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit the like. Uh, let me know if I missed any. And if you um, enjoyed it a lot, go ahead and pass it along to other people. And if you haven't done, all, done so already, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and select all. And we want you to see all the content. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.